So the reason you, you come to USC is, is not only just to learn, but to, to get a diverse education, different backgrounds, and just understand the world, understanding a worldview. And that's exactly what uh, Dr. Lennox was talking tonight about, was how we come up with our worldview and how we decide upon that. It's not science versus God or versus atheism. It's that there are two <coughs> worldviews, and there are scientists holding on to each of them. Was my faith in God simply a product of Irish genetics, my parents, believers, my grandparents, and so on? Or was it true? How would you test that? Many of my friends and colleagues who are atheists, they think that I believe in a God a bit like the ancient Greek gods what they called a god of the gaps, which being translated into simple English means, I can't explain it, therefore God did it. You've heard of that kind of god, haven't you? God isn't the god of the gaps, he's the god of the whole show. The bits we do understand and the bits we don't. Men became scientific. Why? Because they expected law in nature. Why? Because they believed in a lawgiver. The universe will create itself. If I say X creates Y, what does that mean? It means if I assume X, I'll get Y. Isn't that right? And if I say X creates X, what does that mean? It means that nonsense remains nonsense, even if high-powered physicists are talking it. He was a great speaker. And it was just a great opportunity to come out here and have that ability to hear him.